I play the role of Jason, in charge of purchasing at OEC Computers. Today in the company, different employees place orders with vendors without coordinating with each other. As a result, the company returns many of these products. In addition, the company would like to try new vendors, but are unsure about their service and prices compared to their current vendors. Their goal is to have better control over the purchasing process overall and reduce the number of returned items. In order to monitor purchases and returns, I selected a few KPIs and dashboards in the main screen of Business One called the Cockpit. This key performance indicator shows me that my inventory value is above the set target of 5 million. In general, I want to keep my inventory levels as low as possible. The goods return amount is in the red zone. I can see that already there is a significant amount of returns to vendors, even though the month has just begun. I'm already over my monthly target. At the same time, I see many purchases already posted. Although I'm not above my target, I am close. I'm down by 25% compared to last month, but once again, the month just started. Looking at the top five purchased item dashboard, I can see the items that cost the most are the larger server appliances. However, I have this rainbow printer, which is not as expensive, but it consumes 17%, which is a significant number for a printer. I will open the item master data directly from the dashboard since it is interactive and allows drill down. In the item area, in the inventory tab, I see I have way too many in stock and available. I will set a max quantity of 30 this way, users will not be able to purchase additional quantities for this printer. Back to the dashboard. I want to know more about this printer, so I open the Items Purchase Analysis. This dashboard, dashboard shows me I buy this item from many different vendors, most likely in various costs. And the item open PO chart shows me that there are plenty of additional quantity arriving soon. In addition to this, I've created an Excel report, which is completely embedded in the application, to analyze return percentage for the current year. I click on the report and open Excel. I can see by items and item groups the quantity received versus the quantity returned, as well as the amount received versus the amount returned. I included a formula to calculate the percentage of the returns. If I scroll down in some areas, I see it's pretty significant. I decided from now on, I'm going to approve any new purchase request that is coming from the purchasing department. I will create an approval template. Using the approvals, I can define who creates the document, what kind of documents, under what terms, and who will be approving it. I can set multiple levels of approvals if needed. So first, I select all the purchasing department users. Then the document, which will be a purchase request. In the approval stages, here I select the internal requisition approval, which identifies me, Jason, as the approver. And finally, in the Terms tab, I will leave it on Always, although I can also set specific terms if I wanted to. Now I will be notified when we will need to approve any new purchase requests. The company would like to explore using additional vendors and possibly reduce costs. 
Using the purchase quotation generation wizard, I can create multiple purchase quotation to multiple vendors. Once I get their responses, I, get, I can analyze the best offer and convert it into a purchase order. I already created a scenario for purchasing a new printer. I select it and go to the next step. I need the printer by the end of the month and I accept offers until the 15th. I set the quantity at 10 and go next. At this point, I see all the possible vendors I can buy from. I can make changes if I wanted to. By creating an online quotation, the system sends individual emails to my vendors with the link to see and update the purchase quotation. Once they submit their offer, the information is sent back to SAP Business One automatically. For this demonstration, I will not use this feature and just execute to create the quotations. I got some responses from the vendor. The first indicated they can deliver the whole quantity on time for a price of 300. The second vendor can deliver on time, but, but part of the quantity for a price of 280. The third vendor can deliver a few days late the whole quantity for a price of 250. I will now open the purchase quotation comparison report so I can get the full visibility into the offers I received. I select group 7, which is the batch of, I, of uh, documents I just created. The highlighted figures in red show me the best options where the quantity is whole, the date is what I requested, and the best price. It depends on the urgency and my preference, but in this case, since I'm okay with a few days delay in order to reduce cost, I will select that third vendor and convert it into a purchase order. I will close the rest of the quotations since I don't need them anymore. We've just seen how I can enforce better controls over my entire purchasing process using different KPIs, dashboards, Excel reports, and approvals. Using SAP Business One, I also did some research and received offers from multiple vendors which helps me reduce my costs.